welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and today I'm here to show you guys this incredibly delicious salmon burger. If you have never tried any recipes of mine, I suggest you try this one. Take this as my recommendation. This salmon burger is on point. It's delicious when I tell you, y'all have to try it. But before I start showing you guys how it's done, I'm asking you very nicely, subscribe to my channel if you are new. Also, leave me a comment down below if you're going to try this out. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me if you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, let's begin. Quickly, I am going to show you guys what you need to make this recipe. I have mayonnaise, I have Louisiana hot sauce, and also I have garlic powder, and as well as some Cajun seasoning. Now, this is for the aioli sauce, okay? And also we have Old Bay Cajun seasoning, cayenne pepper, cayenne, ground cayenne, you know what I mean. And also we have honey for the aioli sauce. Y'all see, I'll put everything in the description box. We have some W sauce as well as some Dijon mustard. And we have some red onion. Quick note, make sure you chop your veggies very fine. I have some chives and dill, and also we have another part of mayonnaise. We have red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, you can use green bell pepper as well. We have some pepper jack cheese and some breadcrumbs as well as some lettuce. And of course, you gotta have some lemon when you're making any fish recipes and of course i gotta come with the brioche bun for this recipe and as well as the salmon i'm using two fish filet or two salmon filet and we have some butter y'all now guys first thing i'm going to be doing is sauteed my veggies i am going to add about one tablespoon of butter in the skillet once it's nice and hot and the butter is melted we're going to add our veggies i'm using the green you know green you can use green bell pepper too if you want but i'm using red bell pepper yellow bell pepper with some red onions okay we're going to saute that really quickly just like that Now, once you're done with your veggies, they're nice and sauteed. I sauteed them for about two to three minutes. Then we're going to pour it on this small bowl, set it aside. We're going to move on to the next step. Now, the next step is the fish. We're going to chop the fish, not really chop. You're going to basically ground the fish, but except I'm using a knife, a sharp knife. And if you guys interested on these knives, I will leave a link below for you. But what I'm doing is basically chopped my salmon into small cubes, little teeny, teeny, tiny cubes. Y'all see. Once you're done, it should look like ground fish, literally like ground fish. Now I am going to place my salmon into this flat plate here, and we're going to season it. To season, I am going to be using my sauteed peppers and the onion, just add that in. Now I am going to add my fresh chives as well as the dill. 
Now I'm adding the seasoning mix. I have Old Bay Cajun seasoning as well as some cayenne pepper to make it nice and spicy. And we have the Dijon mustard. Oh my God. Dijon mustard is just something different. It's If I had the spicy one, I would have used it as well, but that's the only one I could find at the store. And also we're going to add the W sauce and the mayonnaise as well as the breadcrumbs. Now you're going to take your clean hands and mix this up guys until all of the ingredients are well combined with the fish. Of course the best way to mix everything together is by using your hands. Now I am going to make the patties. I was able to make three patties with this. Now if you want, you can make them smaller, but I made three. Just form them, shape them, with um, your hands, your fingers to make a nice round patty and make sure they all the same size. Now what I'm going to be doing is place this into a saran wrap Place it in the fridge just to solidify the patties. You can even leave them overnight if you want, but we're going to wrap them folded just like that and place it in the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now they are ready to go in the fridge. Now while that is in the fridge, we're going to make our aioli sauce. It's so easy to make this sauce and the outcome of it is just wow. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to be doing is adding my mayonnaise in there as well as my hot sauce. I am using Louisiana hot sauce. I have a link for that. Check my Amazon store below for all the ingredients that I use here. And now I am going to be adding some garlic powder as well as some, what is it, Cajun seasoning. And we're going to add some honey. The honey will add a nice balance to this hot sauce. It'll make the sauce so delicious once it is done y'all now i'm adding a little bit of the lemon juice in there as well give that a nice mix just like that and make sure you mix it really good so you can have everything just blend together now we're going to set that aside, ready to cook our salmon. As you guys can see, they're nice and ready to go. First thing I am going to be doing is add a little bit of butter, about two tablespoons of butter in my skillet. Once it is melted, we're going to add our fish in there. Now make sure it's nice and hot. I need it to be nice and hot so we can have a nice color on these patties, okay? Now, if you're not 100% that your patties are ready, make sure you take one step further, place it in the oven, y'all. The oven for a few minutes, just to make sure it is cooked through. Now, look how gorgeous our salmon patties look y'all it looks so nice okay i'm digging with this it looks really good now it is done oh i didn't tell you guys how much i cook it for about five to seven minutes per side so in total about 15 minutes okay so now i am going to toast my bun i'm adding a little bit of butter on there 
um i am going to toast it i love brioche bun guys i will literally just eat it by itself <laughs> okay so once that is nice and toasted and ready to go ooh, this is about to be so good i can't wait i can't wait it's about to be good now our salmon burger is ready to go. We're going to add our bun. Next, we're going to be adding our salmon burger on top. And then you cannot forget about the aioli sauce. Just add that on there, y'all. When I tell you this sauce complement this burger so good, you need to have that, okay? And of course, the cheese. I'm using pepper jack cheese, y'all. And I'm adding my lettuce. You can add tomatoes. You can add whatever you want at this point. Coleslaw, whatever you want at this point. It's up to you. Okay, I show you guys the basic. Now it's up to you to make it how you like it. Now I'm going to add my bun, toss a little bit of french fries on the side, and voila. This is how you make the best, the bomb, salmon burger ever. Y'all, you have to try this, just take it from me. Try this out, if you never make any of my recipes, you have to actually try this out. You will thank me later, okay? Of course, I gotta taste it for you guys, and when I tell you the flavor on this thing, mm, 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 it's incredibly delicious. You can even double this if you want. It's just so good, y'all. I hope you guys try this out. Let me know if you're going to try it in the comments. If you enjoy the video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you're watching for the first time. I will see you guys as usual on the next recipe. Bye.